Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn how to find basis for row space and column space of matrix A. Algorithm to find basis for row space and column space. Let A be a non-zero matrix. Step 1. Find row equivalent form of matrix A. So apply row operation then we are able to get row equivalent form of matrix A. Step number two, non-zero rows in row echelon form will form a basis for the row space of matrix A. So first identify non-zero row in row echelon form. So this R1, R2, R3 are the non-zero row which will form a basis for the row space of A. Step three, columns of A which contain leading ones in row echelon form will form a basis for the column space of A. So we have to identify the leading ones in row echelon form which contained in column 1, column 2 and column 4. So corresponding columns of A, C1, C2 and C4 will form a basis for the column space of Therefore, the column space basis contain only original values of columns of A. Now, we are going to understand this algorithm through example. Example, find the basis for row space and column space of A. So, in the first step, we are going to find the row echelon form matrix A. Now, in the row echelon form matrix A, in the first column, except the first entry, other entry should be 0. So, first we apply first row operation, multiply first row by 2 and add it to the corresponding entries of second row. Then, the fourth entry should be 0. So, we multiply first row by minus 3 and add it to the fourth row. Then, in the second row, first non-zero entry should be 1. So, we multiply second row by minus 1. Now, in the column of leading 1, below entry should be 0. So, we multiply second row by minus 2 and add it to the third row. Then, we have third row 0. So, we interchange third and fourth row. Now, multiply second row by minus 3 and add it to the corresponding entries of third row. Now, in the third row, this minus 2 should be 1. So, we multiply third row by minus 1 by 2. Then, we have row echelon form of matrix A. Now, in the second step, the non-zero row in row echelon form will form a basis for row space of A. So, we are we have to identify non-zero row in row echelon form of matrix A. So first three row R1, R2, R3 in row echelon form will form a basis for row space of A. Now step number three. The columns of A which contain leading ones in row echelon form will form a basis for column space of A. So in the row echelon form, first we have to find the leading ones which contained in column 1, column 3 and column 4. So corresponding columns of A, C1, C3, C4 will form a basis for column space of A. And this way we are able to find the basis for row space and column space. Thanks for watching. For more videos, like, share, subscribe, press the bell icon of Next Gen Mass.